The Advanced Settings window contains global parameters for lock-in tests. Once set up, these parameters should not need to be changed very often. For the majority of lock-in tests involving low levels of heating, cycle initialization should be set to zero cycles. Unless image artifacts become apparent in lock-in images after touch-up calibrations, touch-up delay should be set to two seconds. Image rejection detects and ignores corrupt images that could interfere with lock-in results. Image rejection works by comparing newly captured images to an average of previously captured images. If the difference is too great, the image will be rejected. History weight determines how far back in the past previously captured images are used for the comparison. A good starting point for this value is 98%. For the majority of lock-in tests, image rejection should be enabled and auto-rejection should be enabled. A safety factor of 1.4 times and a safety margin of 0.1K are good starting points. If you find that too many images are rejected during lock-in tests, you may need to increase the safety factor and safety margin. Noise reduction and image smoothing help detect localized heating in lock-in images. Good starting points for these values are a noise reduction of 3x3 three three cross, an image smoothing of 5x5 five five pixels, and a strength of 2. The timing within each cycle when relays are closed and open is critical when calculating phase angles and phase images. For most relay devices, this setting should be set to previous frame end and should only be changed if you are instructed by an Optotherm support engineer. Optotherm Thermalize, thermal image analysis software. For more information, please visit our website.